I wanted to make this video to show everybody how to install solderless grip connectors to LED strip light. It's relatively simple, but there are a few steps in here that's maybe a little bit confusing. And if your lights don't light up after this video, you should probably figure out, um, be able to figure out why. So first let's kind of go over what a solderless grip connector is. That's our name for our product that um, enables you to attach two sets of strip lights together or strip lights to extra wire for power or control without the need of soldering. Uh, we always tell people soldering is the best way, but the way that these new connectors work makes it very easy um, for someone that's not experienced in soldering to complete their project and it will last, uh, should last indefinitely. So if you can look on the inside of these connectors, as I kind of zoom in here, uh, you'll notice that there are some spiky metal pieces. And what those do is they actually penetrate the strip to go through these little solder pads uh, where there's an indicated negative and positive marking on the strip. And so what that will do is get the connectivity to these solder pads to the other part of the strip or to the wire. Now there's different types. There is one that goes around the corner. That is if you have a strip light under a counter and it's coming to from the left-hand side and then it's going around the corner to the right. Um, where you don't want to have any interruption, you don't want to have a connector with a bunch of wire between it, uh, this is a very easy option. The next one that we have is a connector that can attach two pieces of strip light together. Um, so if you have two reels of strip light and you had one you know, 10 foot section and the other one you needed an eight foot, well, the strip lights come in 16 foot reels, right? Uh, so most of them, right? So we sell them in 100 foot or 32 foot, but uh, standard on the market is about 16 feet. So if you wanted to use one whole reel and then attach a little bit extra, you would use one of these connectors. We also make them for RGB, RGBW, tunable dynamic whites. So it's not just the white lights that you can use these for. This is a connector, as you can see how big it is, um, to attach two strips together. Um, and so you can have one run over here, this go through a cabinet, and then you have another run here. And then uh, the other connector is just to hook up to your power or to your controller, right? So this is an RGB strip, and this one changes colors. Pretty cool. All right, so what I'm gonna show you guys is the basic steps and the how-to to put on one of these sort of the script connectors. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is lay everything out in your project. So if you have multiple cuts of lights, if you have multiple strips, make sure that one, they all light up before you turn anything on. So hook them up to power if you can, and if you need to solder before you hook them up to power, if it doesn't come with a lead already attached to it, then you're gonna hook it up to power during the second phase just to make sure it works. But if your strips did come with uh, some wire attached to it, go ahead and use that power supply that you have with it and make sure that they turn on. Um, the last thing you wanna do is cut up your strip and then really then try to diagnose if it was working before you cut it or not. One thing that you'll wanna pay attention to is these little markings on the strip. Now this one is showing that it uses 24 volts DC, so low voltage. There are some strips that use 12 volts and some that use 48 volts. And so it's really important that you buy a power supply that not only can handle the amount of energy you're gonna put through it, but also matches this 12 or 24. And so for this example of the installation, we're gonna be installing one of these corner connectors. Um, so I have two pieces of strip, which I have already cut along the reel. So let me just go ahead and make a new cut. So if I wanted to have this one go around a cabinet, I would cut along this mark. All right, so I cut that over there. And now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is lay it out, like I said. So if I would have, if this fell to the ground and I laid it out here and I hooked it up and then it didn't work, well, that's because of this. If you look at those little markings, one of them on the bottom says 24 volt over here and this one says 24 volt over here. So that means the positive is on the bottom here and the positive is on the top here. So as you're putting these together, of course it's not gonna work because they don't match. The polarities need to match. So always make sure with all of your LED strip lighting systems that when you're putting it together, the polarities are always matched. And this should run all the way back to your controller or all the way back through your power supply. So no matter how many cuts you're gonna use, make sure they match. Also, make sure the voltage matches. Um, if we're gonna be using a strip here, that says 12 volt, and this one that says 24 volt, they are not compatible. So to go ahead and attach this connector, it's relatively very simple. 
is first you're gonna peel off this little adhesive on the back. This covers the tape. Now this is very important. Some people miss the step, but it's very important you do so just so the strip, uh, the strips, um, metal parts can push through and puncture the strip. You're gonna take off a little bit of this adhesive. And just peel it back just like that. So then you're gonna open the connector all the way and as you can see those little teeth in there, you're gonna put that on top of the teeth. Now our connectors are designed so there's a little, uh, if I can point with the scissors here, a little divot right here that will sit above your LEDs. So it's not gonna squish your LEDs. So I try to kind of push it down with my hands a little bit first. Uh, sometimes you can't do that. Um, we make our strips with four ounce PCB, which is very, very thick, and that's really good for heat dissipation and longevity of the strip. And so uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to puncture that. So we've done the first one. Now, as I've said before, we're gonna wanna make sure that this lines up before we move it over here. So then let me take it off of this end, not this end. So as I peel that back, push that away, and then I would just Push that down there. This one's a little bit harder. So then I'm going to use my pliers here. You should hear a click. So this is done. So now what you would do is put another connector or solder um, onto the end of that strip. And I'm gonna show you another connector too that I failed to mention earlier. And this is a connector that you can use when you do not have, um, where you don't want a preset wire. Let's say you already have wires coming in through the wall and you just wanna hook a connector up to it. Or you already have, um, you have an indefinite amount of wire, right? So you can attach this to the strip on this end. And then this end of the connector, you can see that in there is where you put your wire. So the wire is gonna sit on top of these little scissor type uh, metal outcroppings there. You're gonna have the wire. Now you don't have to strip the wire before you put it in. You just put the wire in, you press it down, then you use your pliers, make sure that's all in there. And so that has made the connection inside of there. So then all you do is when you attach this to this side, now notice, this is very important. <laughs> if we attach the strip to this side, what color is the positive marking? Right now, positive is on the bottom here, and that would be associated with the black wire. If I were to attach it to the other side, now positive is, uh, is red. So it's very important when installing these things that if this is the area where you had to install your connector because your power supply is right over here, Make sure that you're not always thinking, well, red is always positive, right? No, that's not accurate. You're gonna to wanna to follow the wire that goes from the power supply all the way to your strip and say, okay, this one right now, this is, or you look at your strip first and say, okay, positive is black. So then you're gonna bring this black wire all the way to your power supply and that's it. And so to attach these things to the corner, by the way, you can put a little screw in there. You can also put some 3M adhesive tape so it doesn't fall down and that's it. Making your strip light project is super easy with these, and please contact us if you have any questions on how to install. Um, we can actually design all of your projects for you, no cost. Let us know what your vision is. We can design it for you. We've been in the industry for 10 years for you guys, and we'll be around for a lot longer. So let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thank you so much.